didn't ask Prince Charles help for a $40 million home for this reason, source says. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle didn't ask for help for the royal family when they purchased their new home in Montecito, California for a reason. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been living in their multi-million dollar estate in Santa Barbara for several weeks now. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who stepped down from their royal roles in January, chose to pay for the $14.65 million property out of their own pockets without the involvement of the royal family, and it could be going against their bid for financial independence. Harry could if asked Prince Charles to contribute toward the cost of the house, but he chose not to, a source told us weekly. Getting his dad financially involved would result in rural royals having control over him. It would mean going backwards. Instead of asking for a financial contribution from the British clan, Prince Harry and Markle took out a huge mortgage for the estate. The source say Prince William's brother is happy with the decision because he is loving being independent and sees it as an opportunity to grow. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are satisfied with their new home and proud of their purchase, believing it to be an absolutely bargain. The insiders say, Harry and Meghan see it as an absolutely bargain. It was an opportunity not to be missed, the source revealed. Unlike buying a car, it's an investment. The insider continued, Meghan's confident they will make a hefty profit if they ever decide to sell up. And on the upside, at least the security costs have been reduced. The new home is getting them secure. They still have bodyguards but no longer need as many. Prince Harry and Marco may settle down in the new neighborhood, which also has homes of several other big names like Ellen Duke Regenerants and Oprah Green Free for good. Buying a house together is a huge milestone for Harry and Meghan especially as it's the first property they've owned, the insiders say. They want to grow all together, reminiscing about their amazing journey. Prince Harry and Marco's new purchase comes as a new biography about the Sussexes fighting freedom. By royal correspondents Irma Scobie and Carolyn Durin was released last week. A raffle, Prince Harry and Marco had previously confirmed that the royal couple did not participate in the making of the tell-all book and did not give interviews to the journalists. However, they were accused of lying about their involvement following the biography's release as its author's note stated that Scopey and Durin talked to them when appropriate. Scopey recently set the record straight on Twitter, saying that the note referred to such exchanges with Prince Harry and Marco during formal engagements which were very different from actual interviews. Meanwhile, Dicky Abiter, the Queen's former spokesperson, hoped that Sussexes will find peace after leaving the royal family. When I finished reading Fighting Freedom a few days ago, I admitted to go through all the illustrations he wrote on Twitter, whose idea was it to gosh Thomas Markle, the authors of the subjects. Now, Hashtag HNM have found freedom, I hope, in time for the shakes they find peace.